Well, it's again Friday night. I just did all my shopping. I'm going to pour myself a glass of water. So as to remain hydrated for the next while, and that next while is probably going to be about three hours while I make four more videos. By the time you see this, <coughs> the way I have it scheduled for these videos to go up, I should be in the UK when you see this. Probably I'm in London uh, having some drams with Jason from Jason Whiskey Wise channel and Mr. Bananas. But this is something else. About a year ago, a sample was sent to me by Whiskey Sneerson over in Saskatchewan. And it was of Danfield's Private Reserve 10 year old Canadian whiskey. After I made a video about that, he sent me an entire bottle of Danfield's Private Reserve 10 year old Canadian whiskey. So I think it's only fair <laughs> that I give it a taste now to have a whole bottle of it just to crack the bottle. There's also this, this thing which was stuck around the neck of the bottle and it says uh, Danfield's Private Reserve. Uh, okay, Private Reserve. Says, our story begins in the north, which is a fine place to start when you're talking about authentic Canadian whiskey. Uh, during the 1700s, when adventurers came to establish trading posts, it proved to be the kind of thirst-provoking work that called for great whiskey. Danfield's private reserve Canadian whiskey was born of the same Canadian mindset that has always demanded the best whiskey money can buy. Ooh. Now, before I get any further into this, I'm going to pour me a dram of this fine Canadian whiskey. Incidentally, this is made by the distillery in Lethbridge, Alberta, which also makes um, black velvet. And they also make this one here. Hold on. They also make Golden Wedding, which is uh, very popular down east, they tell me. Or who said that? Was it Davin de Kergamo? I think it was Davin de Kergamo. He was live with, with somebody else, and he was talking about how it's popular down in Newfoundland. <laughs> uh, okay. Here we are. Let's get this guy open here. This is our Danfields Private Reserve. That's about a quick size dram. Oh yeah. And remind me to put some in the uh, Canadian Infinity bottle. Yeah, and I'll leave this here for now. Now what else does it say about this here? Finest ingredients. Oh, what else? Does it say 40% 750 mils Canadian whiskey Canadien? Small batch. There's a bunch of stuff on the back too. I'll read the stuff on the back after I've gone through here. Finest ingredients. Downfield's Private Reserve Canadian Whiskey is an expert blend of the best whiskies that we use. Only the finest ingredients nature has to offer. Rye, corn, malted barley. Being born and bred in Alberta offers one other advantage you won't find many other places on earth. We use only pure Canadian water. Uh -huh. Special blending process provides a smoothness and consistency unique to Danfield's private reserve Canadian whiskey. Master distiller begins by sampling only the finest of whiskeys. He then selects and prepares these special small batches for bottling. One sip and you'll agree better taste is born of better blending. 
Ah, it smells beautiful. We take our whiskey in batches of less than 100 barrels using a small batch handcrafted process to absolutely ensure the premium quality of our product. Everything we do is closely monitored right down to where we age our whiskey in fine white oak barrels. Hmm. Danfield's Private Reserve Canadian Whiskey is only kept in warehouse number two, nestled between our other warehouses to protect it from Canadian winter winds. Hmm. Final sparkle. Last but certainly not the least of our story, Danfield's Private Reserve Canadian Whiskey is distilled using a triple filter process. In the final step, our whiskey is diamond filtered just pri prior to bottling. I wonder what that means. We use real diamonds to filter our refined whiskey and this provides a polishing that assures a smoothness and drinkability from first sip to last. Now are they natural diamonds or <laughs> industrial diamonds? <laughs> oh, talk about marketing. That's quite some marketing right there. That's a classic. Now what does it say on the back here? Uh, Danfield's Private Reserve Canadian is born and bred and distilled uh, with drinkability that is something from the very first sip. I need a magnifying glass. Our master distiller selects and prepares only the finest. Yeah, I've seen that already. <laughs> I've seen that on the tag that I just put aside, so I'm not going to read any more of that. Now, we've gone almost seven minutes, and I haven't even nosed the stuff yet. Oh, but it does have a nice nose. Right away, I'm getting some rye and vanilla. Nice rye. Vanilla, wood smoke. Rye, vanilla, wood smoke, caramel. I'm almost getting something uh, savory, like a, like a sausage, like pepperoni. Yeah, pepperoni. I don't know if I got that last year in, in the sample that was sent to me, but I'm definitely getting pepperoni on the nose here. Pepperoni, rye. It's a nice nose. Very nice. Some vanilla hiding under there. Steak spice. That savory note on the nose is very nice. Not a lot of complexity. Getting some of that corn sweetness, definitely. Some of that rye. And it's 10 years old, so it's probably getting some spices from the, uh, from the barrels. Um, did they say New American Oak? No, I don't think so. No, it could. No, I don't think so. It, did say, it said White Oak somewhere. Dry corn malted barley. Yeah, I said it already. <laughs> Why do I keep referring to that? Ah, oh, this is a lovely nose for Canadian whiskey.
I think I should taste it. There's rye, some of that spicy rye note. Some of the spiciness, no doubt, probably comes from the wood, but there's also there's also some vanilla, a little bit of caramel. It's a it's a classic Canadian whiskey palette but with extra spice and I think the spice may be coming from the wood some tannins in there then some spice from the rye it's hard to pull the spices apart the spice from the rye and the spice from the wood in this case they're blended. They're 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 just so a part of each other. Mm, vanilla spices, all spice, steak spice. There's some butterscotch underneath that, underneath all the spices, and it's, it is delicious. It is a delicious 10-year-old Canadian whiskey. You can't fault this stuff. It's smooth, it's spicy, it's delicious, and... You know, the finish does kind of linger on. Spiciness and spiciness and spiciness. And there's still spiciness on the tip of my tongue. Oh, you know, I haven't had a sip of water yet. This is, this is wonderful. Wonderful Canadian sipping whiskey. And it's only 4%, so it'll take a while <laughs> before you get drunk. It's oh, easily drinkable. Very nice. Might have a chance to say that there's a little bit of floral on the nose, too. Hmm. Oh, super good, super good whiskey. Thank you, Whiskey Sneerson, once again for your generosity in sending me a sample and then sending me an entire bottle. I still have a few more bottles from you that I will get to. I will get to them. I promise you I will. But there's just so many that I tend to take bottles uh, and open f new bottles that I've never had before in the order in which I acquired them. And right now, we're back in is it June? It is June. June of 2018. So July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Yeah. Nine months. I'm nine months behind the times. Oh, I will drink to your very good health. Cheers. Food Queen. <laughs>
Food quick. 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 Food